bless you. Have a very Merry Christmas and lucky, happy New Year. Yeah? Lucky every day. Happy every day. New Year. How's everyone? Okay? Ah, oh, good. Are you happy, guys? Yes, Master. <laughs> what have you been doing? Uh, Master, here we've been doing many different projects, uh, loving the Silent Tears editing and post-event media coverage, CD and DVD distribution, editing Master's videos, as well as Master's poetry and songs DVDs. Among other things, we also plan on producing Supreme Master TV shows, such as the music and poetry programs, to further share Master's teachings and poems to more people. And thank you for the opportunity uh, to work on those items. Yeah, you're welcome, and thank you <laughs> for working on whatever you do. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you like it, it's good. We all very much enjoy the work, Master, and we were, we're deeply... Uh, happy that uh, you allow us to um, work on it and very happy every day. Very, very happy, Master. Wonderful, my God. <laughs> it's the nicest thing I can hear. <laughs> I mean, because you wanted to do it, so why not? So I said, okay, no? What would I say? Not okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, if you like to work there and it's good for humankind or good for the world, then I always say, okay, I'm easy, easy going. <laughs> We're deeply appreciative, Master. Yeah, I appreciate you too. So that's why I let you have a chance to air your opinion today or air your concern or, you know, ask them question if you want. You have any? Yes, we very much, very much like to. It's our greatest honor. Oh, okay, Mike. Most compassionate Master, um, as people around the world are celebrating this holiday season with their loved ones, uh, we feel deeply honored, happy, and so blessed to be in your most radiant presence today. Um, thank you so much for granting us your precious time from your deep meditation to answer our questions. Um, we, feel, we all feel that Master's love and wisdom will surely be a priceless help to humans at this time. Thank you very much, Master. Oh, it's all right. I, uh, it's New Year, it's Christmas and New Year, so I thought uh, maybe you guys want to have a look at me. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> definitely. As a gift. <laughs> wow, it looks good over there in your area with the Christmas trees and presents and everything. Just look very real Christmas. <laughs> we decorated um, the space uh, for you, Master, and to celebrate Christmas, and we're, uh, we're all very joyful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please do enjoy the holiday season, yes. I'm very glad to see you also, those that uh, still like to stay there and work in whatever project that you are having and trying to help the world in different ways. Thank you, Master. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Is there any question, then you go ahead. Yes, I, I, will, I will start with the first few questions, Master. Master, uh, okay. there, there's much news about climate change, uh, with the United Nations recently concluding in a report that ice cover has reached a new record low in the area around the North Pole, and that the loss from March to September of this year was an area bigger than the size of the United States, a very large area. Yeah, yeah. So, Master, it looks like climate change is part of the screening process as uh, people are dying from extreme weather events and other events caused by climate change. And so our mm. question, Master, is, is the world still in danger from climate change to some extent if the pace of adopting the vegan diet is not sped up? Thank you, Master. Mm. 
Yes, um, you're right. Uh, the uh, the ship, the ship, you know, big ship, has been able to sail through the. There used to be ice cover before. Yes. Before, uh, no ship ever have been able to go through that area, and now the whole area is just water, no ice. So they just sail through. They just go through. This is uh, very worrisome. But, uh, well, the planet is saved, but the people still have to live up to humans' real standard in order to preserve a human's world according to heaven's mandate. If we don't, then uh, we will have to bear the consequences or our future children will have to. That's, you know, as we sow, so shall we reap. Understood, Master. <sighs> Sorry about that. Understood. Uh, Master, how long can the planet live now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can you guess? Uh, Master, I, I was thinking about it before this conference, and um, I thought maybe it's doubled, maybe 20,000 years, and perhaps more, if, depending on future human conduct. Well, I didn't want to spoil them, but uh, the planet will exist millions of years more now. Wow! wow. That's exciting news, Master. Yes. Thank you, Master. Thank You're you. You're welcome. <laughs> thanks, Heaven, and thanks, God, for all this merciful decree. Even though I put in effort, but the people have been praying as well. Other beings on this planet, not just humans, have been praying and putting in effort, small or, or big. And Heaven has been merciful as well. Hmm? Okay. Yes, Master. I was stamping my feet. <laughs> I was stamping my feet <laughs> and demand that our voices be heard and our opinions matter. I said, even I myself, just one person's opinions matters. <laughs> and it matters, yes. So the planets will continue. Of course, with a lot of uh, effort, eh? Yes. Well, I don't want to mention it. It's a long story. <laughs> now, now the planet is safe and it's good enough. Yeah? Okay. Thank you for being our lawyer and our, in your grace and blessings, Master, for acting on our behalf. Well, I am I'm you. <laughs> <laughs> I am us. <laughs> what happened to you concerns me, right? Yes, yes Master. Yes, Master. We are friends. <laughs> and friends has to defend friends. Yes? Yes, yes Master. Yes, Master. Uh, master, has the screening process been completed or will it continue? And if so, uh, for how much longer may we know? Yeah, the screening process will always continue until at least humankind have changed to a better standard, you know, to the real human standard you know, with love, compassion, and peacefulness coexisting together. But uh, right now, the, the, the screening process still continues, although it's a little different degree uh, of intensity. But because humans always waver, so the result also changes, sometimes slow, sometimes suddenly. I would really like to say, don't worry, be happy. <laughs> but the truth is, we have to make effort to earn happiness on earth as in heaven. Understood, Master. Yeah. I hope everybody understands what you understood. <laughs> the problem is not everyone understands. And so um, we still have to continue with our effort. And the screening might still continue in some, in some way. Yeah? Thank you very much for your answer, Master. Okay, Mike. Hi, Master. It's nice to see you again. Hi. Good to see you. Olivia, ça va toi? Ça va, ça va, merci. You look beautiful, Master, as always. Merci, merci. Um, I have my first question is about the Middle East. 
Um, Palestine has uh, recently been recognized as a state by the United Nations, but it seems to have hardened the situation between Palestine and Israel. Master, mm. what can we do to find a lasting peace in the Middle East? Mm. Yeah, things will have to sort themselves out, yes. The people themselves have to consider what they want. And in order to have what they want, they have to consider what kind of action that they should take. The levels of consciousness of the people in different countries manifest in their ways of living, their mentality, their dealing with the world. So unless our levels uplifted, things will remain difficult for any of us in any situation, not just the Middle East. Master, please tell us the level of consciousness of the people of different countries. We would really like to know. Um, I have recently uh, been checking out what kind of levels different countries have. You know, the majority of the people of each uh, different countries. Uh, maybe if we have time later on, I will let you know, and then maybe you understand why we have difficult to find peace in some area. Okay? Oh, thank you, Master. And the list that I'm going to give you about the spiritual consciousness of the majority population of each nation is just for your reference and within our group, not to be published. Yes, Master. Master, thanks to your intensive meditation and upliftment of our world, the planet is, as you said, saved for millions of years more. That's really a great news. Thank you very much, Master. But the, the planet countdown that we aired during Supreme Master Television is scheduled to end next month in January. So, Master, with the planet now saved, does the countdown have any more meaning? No, no. Okay. No, we don't need countdown anymore. Countdown at that time was uh, done according to the situation of the karmic uh, consequences of uh, our world at that time. But it, it has now changed. It has become better thanks to all heaven's grace and all beings, uh, prayers and effort and meditation and doing good, etc., etc. Small effort and big efforts, they do help. Yes? Yes. Thank you very much, Master. Um, You're welcome. Uh, Master, earlier this year you explained about um, heaven and your role as a lawyer who is uh, negotiating on behalf of humans who are suffering in this world. Um, Master, could you please share about how the negotiations are going? Uh, you, you know it already. Well, the planet is saved. <laughs> okay, that's great. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Now, uh, we humans are pardoned to some extent, to some degree, but we must prove worthy of this world, yes? It's up to the people now to choose either the noble way of living or the lesser standard of humans for present life and the hereafter. We have to live according to true human standard, you see. The minimum is laid out in all kind of scriptures in the world, like the five precepts, the ten commandments, like thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not commit a sinful act, etc., commit adultery, thou shalt not do this, thou shalt not do that, but thou shalt do this, thou shalt do that. This is a minimum standard, yeah, thou shalt not kill. But if we continue going to kill each other's, or killing other beings, like the animals, for example, then we are not living up to the human standard. Not to talk about heaven standard yet. To be able to be a true human, we should follow the five precepts or the Ten Commandments in the Bible. So you understand, yes? <laughs> yes, Master. But Master, how come some people commit bad deeds, such as killing or eating flesh, drinking alcohol, etc.? 
Yet still nothing happens to them. Not yet. Nothing happened to them yet. For the moment, maybe. But it could happen sooner or even next life. Because at this present life, or at this present moment, they still have some leftover good merits in store from their past life's good deeds. But when this uh, merit store is used up, then they will have to pay in different ways. Either bad health, accidents, mental disturbance, or loss of lives, etc. No one can escape the karmic retribution in the universal law. Understood. Thank you very much. All right. You're welcome, love. Hi, Master. Yeah. Hi. Hi. This is Sarah, Master. Ah, Sarah, how are you? Good, Master. Thank <laughs> you. You look so pretty. Oh, <laughs> oh for you, Master. We, we Lost tried. some weight or something? Oh, <laughs> I'm just very happy here, Master. Maybe yeah? that's why and we just tried to look good for you <laughs> today. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You do look good. You really look good. I mean, from inside as well. Thank you, Master. Thank you for your blessings. Master, I have a question about Nostradamus' prophecies. Many people believe that he predicted um, the wars and tragedies that happened throughout human history. And in one letter he wrote to his son, he said that there will be a worldwide conflagration or fire, um, which is to bring so many catastrophes and such revolutions that hardly any lands will not be covered by water. And this will mm -hmm. last until all have perished. The rains, oh. yes, and he said yes. that the rains will be diminished so much and such abundance of fire and fiery missiles shall fall yes. from the heavens that nothing shall escape the Holocaust. And this yes. will occur before the last conflagration. Um, oh. It, yes, very scary, Master. Um, and it sounds similar, but even worse than actual events we've seen so far. Um, so, Master, are such disastrous prophecies for our world, like this one, supposed to come true if it's not for heaven's grace? Uh, it could have come true, but uh, we have tried to stop it. Oh, yes, Master. We have tried to stop it, so it's uh, better now. It could have become worse, yeah? Yes, Master. You see? Yes. That's why you said the, the prediction sounds worse than uh, the actual event. Yes, Master. No, he yes. predicted the truth, but then, but then we, uh, some of our humans have been very good, and so they, they uh, all together we have stopped some of the worst disaster that could have happened to our planet and the humankind. But nevertheless, recently in uh, the SM magazine, our magazine, they have printed uh, the article of uh, Nostradamus' prediction, another kind of prediction, and you will find a better picture of our world after the big screening. You didn't read it? We, we read it, yes. Okay. <laughs> um, yes, it said that um, there will be um, a, at least a thousand years of complete peace and prosperity thanks to the emergence of a new world leader or messiah. Mm. And it's good. Yes, Master, it's, it's very exciting. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's a good news, huh? Yeah. Yes. Um, In a uh, few years, maybe everyone become vegan. <laughs> and they're tired of fighting, and maybe have peace in the world. Yes, Master. Okay. Thank you, Master, for your blessing. <laughs> wow. Just say we hope so, huh? Yeah, and pray for it. Yes, Master, we'll pray yes. for it. Master, we'd like to know um, how have you been spending your days before today? Um, what have you been doing? Mm. Uh, I've been uh, checking the universe. <laughs> I'm checking wow. what's going on in the world and uh, what we can uh, minimize, what we can improve. And, uh, of course, always in the intensive meditation mood, whether I sit down or I lay down or I'm taking some time to, to walk around or playing with the dogs, <laughs> always uh, focus on meditation. 
wow. um, intensive meditational mood, yes. And also I have sent uh, assistants. I have only one or two assistants here, sometimes one, sometimes two, depends on their karma. And uh, sometimes I send assistant out to help, you know, the needy people and to give the homeless some financial support, buy food for the food bank uh, where I live. Yes, also send Christmas present to some people. <laughs> I had to buy many new houses for the dog pounds near where I live, and uh, food and blankets and toys, uh, mattresses and whatever they required from the dog pound center. I did that many years, you know, over the years, not just this year, but mostly anonymous, so they don't even know me. <laughs> they don't even see me. <laughs> they always want to see me. I went before two times when I wasn't famous there, but after I've been given so many more times, <laughs> I escaped. <laughs> I just write like a, a pen name or something, and I just wrote thank you letter. I say, that's okay enough. And my my assistant carry it over or not. <laughs> and sometimes I read it and sometimes I just keep it. It doesn't matter. As long as the dogs are happy. They seem to be good taken care of there. And I hope all the dogs in all the pals and tenters in the world are well taken care of. Oh Master, that's so touching. And the children, you know the, the, the orphan the orphanage children? I send them presents and money to buy them new clothes and whatever they need, toys and chocolates and, you know, vegan chocolates <laughs> and cookies, <laughs> uh, marzipan with figures that they, they, the children would like, things like that, etc. Huh? Okay? I also order those uh, disaster relief funds and activity and also special fund of uh, 400,000 for the homeless monks. Wow and uh, uh, homeless people around the world. And I, I also do some important correspondence, not a lot, because of course I have to concentrate on meditation. Eh? Mm. I wish I could write letters to all the leaders and great people in the world to thank them for all the efforts and all the good things they have done for humankind and for the planet and for the animals. But uh, I just couldn't make it. There are still a lot of good people in these worlds and good leaders, and I'm so glad. I'm so glad. Anyway, uh, by the way, here, if they can hear me at all, I hope they will accept my heartfelt gratitude. And I wish them all the best in their continuing noble work. And I pray heavens for all the blessing, showering, into their lives and their loved ones. Well, thank you so much. Master, you're mm. so compassionate. Not only you're taking care of the universe through your meditation, you're, you're also uh, being Santa Claus to so many of the less fortunate, and it touches us every yeah. year. Yeah, quietly, <laughs> quietly. They don't even know I'm Santa Claus. I just send it through someone else. Yes, or anonymously. Uh, so they don't even see the Santa Claus, Mrs. Santa Claus, <laughs> Mrs. Mysterious Santa Claus. <laughs> Actually, you know, because you are doing these things, every one of our association member doing this, and I'm also doing this, you know, we walk the talk. It's normal by us. Huh? We're only inspired yeah. by your example, Master, truly. And whoever receives your gift is so blessed. <laughs> What if I keep telling you what to do and I never do anything? Huh? It's not good, is it? <laughs> it's not because I tell you what to do, so I do it. I just feel their need, so I do it because of their need. Nah, it's just natural things to do. Hmm? Just like it's natural thing for you to like to stay there and continue to do whatever you can, uh, spreading the teaching or do whatever video stuff that you're doing. For other people, it just feel natural to you, hmm? and you're happy doing that. The same, it feel natural to me to help people, and I'm happy doing that too. <laughs> yes, Master. I have another question. Okay. Um, so there are these other predictions, positive predictions, about the year 2013. 
they say that our world will be suddenly transformed or enter a higher dimension,、um, yes. and that even our DNA will change or already started to change.、Um, mm-hmm. And it sounds great, but、um, for me, it, it's hard to imagine that drastic changes could happen overnight, especially. Why not? Well, in our <laughs> physical domain, it, it's kind of hard to imagine for the physical world. Yeah, I understand.、Um, could Master please share your insights? Yeah, why not? <laughs> why do you always believe in negative happenings and not believe in, for example, sudden miracles or sudden change for the better? Yeah, let's just believe it. Let's pray for it to happen, and as quick as possible. I have given up zillions of zillions of zillions of zillions of spiritual merit points for the world to become better and the people to change from inside and for world vegan world peace. Still more I need to offer for this vision to come true, but it will. It might come true. I have been intensifying my meditation effort. Wow! Still continue. Wow, Master! Thank you so much. But、uh, yes, I cannot always reveal all to you. You just wait and see, okay? Yes, Master. Yes. Thank you so much. Thanks, Heaven. <laughs> thanks, Heaven. Okay. Um. Well, so thanks to Master's dedication, the planet has been saved for a much, much longer time. And it also depends, as you have said, on humanity's、um, standard and future actions.、Um, so, do these future actions also、um, include what our association members do, such as continuing to spread the vegan message? Yes, of course. Everyone has to do their best,、né? especially our association members who knows what's right, what's wrong, and what's best for the world. So, the more, the better. Yeah, but the planet will live longer now. I told you, millions of years. Wow! <laughs> yes, how many millions more, Master? Yeah, I'm checking my diary, because I also don't remember every day something more and more. I have to do a lot of things I don't always remember, but I have written down. I don't write down every day. I just write down now and then, just to check up on the extension of the planet. Okay. Uh, on the、uh, what is the date of that?、Mm. Man, let me check out the date. Okay, <laughs> so man, <laughs> I, I write in so much I could hardly、oh, check、wow. out because my my diary is very small, <laughs> <laughs> so I can carry in my pocket. I just write things very simple for myself. But now, if you ask, I tell you. Mm, I could check it out, but be patient a little bit. Yes, Master. Yes. Where can that be the date? Oh, man. Okay. On the, you know, up the latest one, planet, planet extension. The latest one I have written is four fifth. Could it be more behind here or not? If not, then it's、uh, in the front. My level planet extended. Ah, okay. We have later than that day. That day was before. The latest time I I checked was 18 December. The planet would be extended to stay longer. A millions. Three hundred thirty-one thousand one hundred seventy-one years、wow. on eight, up to eighteen December. <laughs> Woo! Thanks, Master. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> well, it's go very fast now.、Wow. I am surprised myself. <laughs> Master, it was just ten thousand years at the end of October, so just in two months. I know. Wow. I know. I know. Because、uh, my Levels jumping up.、Wow. Oh my goodness, Master! <laughs> my spiritual merit points、uh, multiply zillions of times because some、um, special events and some special things that I cannot share with you. But、uh, because of that, the master power is more strong. 
stronger and stronger and so strong that even <laughs> it jump it jump up so fast that I'm so happy too. Yes, doesn't matter as long as it lives longer. Doesn't matter how. <laughs> it's very That's good. Incredible, yeah? Master. Good news, yeah. huh? Yeah. Yes, Master. <laughs> so lucky, Master. We're so lucky. Ah, yeah, we are lucky. See, the planet will live so much longer now, and will continue longer, yeah, more than that. It's, that was just the 18th of December, yeah? It will continue much more. But uh, the planet continues to live now. It's the human race that should be concerned how long we can continue on for the now and the next generations. If we continue to be more destructive to ourselves, then that's that's what we want, and then that's what we will get, huh? Okay? So the planet is saved for the humans to live on and other beings to live on, then we must really treasure it and we must think about how to live a worthy life on this planet, how to really um, determine to make the better days of our life, how to return the kindness of heaven not just always asking heaven what to do for us, but asking ourselves what we could do for the world, for others, and for ourselves. That is the right thing to do. Okay? Yes, Master. All right. Yes. Um, Continue. Yes, Master. Um, so with this news that the planet has been saved for a longer time, um, for some people it doesn't feel as critical to um, keep spreading the vegan message to save the world since, Master, mm -hmm. you've done all the work. Um, it's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Master, we were wondering, well, sometimes here at Supreme Master TV, we're approached with questions like, well, Supreme Master TV is over, so why are you still working? And instead of doing deep meditation, as Master has um, told us to do, um, so I'm not sure how to answer this kind of question. Master, what is the proper balance between work and meditating at this current time? Well, I have told you to meditate if you can, as deep as possible, yeah? Hmm. Yes, Master. But now, because you have to or you want to do this work, also to offer your service to the world, and then you do what you have to do and you meditate as deep as much as you can. You do both, no? It's up to you. you know, spreading veganism and meditation are also good for your upliftment, personally, as well as for the world. Yes, and never mind, just tell them, mind their own business. <laughs> yes, Master. Well, personally... <laughs> then they will live longer. <laughs> okay. yes, Master. There's a woman in England uh, recently, she died at the age of 116. And people ask her, what's the secret of her longevity? She said, I mind my own business, and I don't eat junk food. <laughs> See? <laughs> yes, Master. <laughs> yes. Good advice. <laughs> <laughs> so tell them to mind their own business, okay? Yes, mind master. your own business. <laughs> Sure. Um, I, I guess for me, I, I have been meditating more than during Supreme Master TV years, um, but yes. I don't think I could be meditating all day, like 10-hour days for many days mm. on end. <laughs> yes, well, it's different, different. Some people have different uh, things to do. Yes, okay? Okay, mm. Master. Some people want to meditate all day, all night, and that's okay too. And some people would like to do like 50-50, yeah, do some work for the world and meditate as well, then then it is your choice, yes? Yes, Master. I, I think me and a lot of us here, or all of us here, we, we like to work also um, to be of service and so we can try to learn and grow spiritually a little faster. <laughs> But if you are staying in the Old Supreme Master television and keep working there for any reason, then you need to meditate at least four hours a day, yes? One hour on the south at least. And if someone who doesn't work, then have to meditate eight hours a day, yes? Proportionately light and south, like the way I have told you at initiation. 
Because people outside they work at least eight hours a day, so if we don't work, we have to meditate eight hours a day at least. Okay, and if you're doing anything that contributes to the world or to master work, for example, you have to meditate four hours a day, not two and a half like other people, and at least one hour Guan Yin is very important for you. Okay, all of you, not just those at Supreme Master Television. Remember, whatever you do is your choice. I. I only advise okay. people do what they want. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you, Master. But of course, the um, the critical time is uh, less intensive now. Mm-hmm. So some people would think that there's no need to do much more. But there's a need always to do. The war is not perfect yet. People are still killing each other and killing animals to eat, which is wrong. So how can we say that uh, we don't do it. It's not because I dropped the Supreme Master television program. That means I'm not doing anything. I'm doing different things. Yes, Master. Yes, because I saw that just talking alone has not been enough. So I have to do more intensified meditation retreat, which I'm very glad that I have done. Otherwise, I couldn't have achieved what I wanted to, and I couldn't have discover, I mean, have time to rediscover things that I want to uh, discover. Uh, good, good for the world. Better I meditate than when I'm doing Supreme Master Television with you. There are two types of things to do. The things to, uh, like, uh, informing the world about um, theory stuff and about kind of verbal, verbal action. And other is spiritual action, spiritual power to reinforce what you have verbally told people, and also to help lifting many souls and lifting even the whole planet. If just talking on TV, I could not have done that. Truly, I could not. You understand? Yes, Master. Yes. So living Supreme Master Television doesn't mean I'm running away or not doing anything. I'm doing better works. Yes, Master. Thank you so much. I'm very glad, because if I have continued with Supreme Master Television, theoretically speaking, I'm doing well for the world and helping them and all that, but not as good as uh, when I'm more in oneness with the universe deeply. Understand? Mm? Yes, Master. More spiritually upward, advanced. Okay? (laughs) Yes, Master. Thank you, Master. You're welcome. Be sure to tune in for part two of three of the full video conference with Supreme Master Ching Hai coming January 6th online at suprememastertv.com with multi-language subtitles. Uh, I wish I could spend more time with you, but uh, we are all working together uh, in the same goal. So we're looking in the same direction instead of into each other's eyes all the time. <laughs> May heaven bless you much more than last year. (laughs) Bless you forever. Okay? Have a good time this holiday season. Relax a little bit and then continue working. Ciao, ciao.